Squash XL Pro is an elite team that work hard to train, play and run squash events on our journey to climb the world rankings. Like, subscribe, comment, pick up some of our merch on Teespring. And now we're finally underway in this, the last quarterfinal of the day. And you can see Lawanda Chilisi in the white shirt, the second seed, against Zach Miller in the green. We did have a slight delay here because of a need to change shirts. And Miller changing from white to lime green. Should be an interesting contest. Already a long, oh, that one just stayed in. A long rally to start with. Uh, nice play there from Zach Miller. You're going to see a few shots like that. Always interesting to watch. The Commonwealth Games player. And uh, feel free to let us know where you're watching from. You know, we've had our Brisbane fans. Very hard hitting rally so far. Okay, so after that long second rally, it's the one that Chilisi coming back onto the board, and he's happy to have them sort of rallies. But it's Miller perhaps will try and finish them a little bit earlier. And the winner of this match will take on Joel Scott, who won in straight over Finn Trimble. The semi-final at the top of the draw. Well, that will feature Evan Williams against Tim Wachalisi. A replay of the Waikato Open final. That match will be at 6.15. The 5.30 semi-final is the women's contest. And it is Emma Miller against Ella Lash. The other woman's semi-final is Abby Palmer against Caitlin Watts. Nice shot there from Zach Miller taking the pace off, chopping underneath it. So a couple of good women's semi-finals coming up and a couple of good men's semis with this match to be the deciding player against Joel Scott. Had the opportunity there, tried to make it too tight. And uh, he loves that shot, wiping it across the body. That one, though, into the tin. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the women's final from 1.15 and the men's from 2 p.m. We've got plenty more squash in the next couple of weeks as well. Brown Space Satellite, men's and women's. That is next weekend. Then the following week, it is the Barfoot and Thompson Auckland Open. Uh, with close to a dozen Aussies coming over for that, should make it really exciting. Nice on the volley. Uh, just a nice little lead there. Fast and Furious to start with to link the rallies in the first two points. change there from Luamba. Pretty difficult for Zach Miller to get to. Yeah. Oh, he's just stepped up the pace a little bit more now. Change of direction, change of pace, change of angle. And after those first two points. That's a better shot. A little bit of a smile there. Yeah, pretty tough to hit that one. That's a Zach Miller special. And uh, a message there from Paul Ascot saying that he'll be open for Auckland. The Auckland Open will be great. I think 
half of Australia coming over for it. <laughs> Just staying under the line. Better rally there from Zach Miller. Last couple of points. Just maybe a little bit of complacency from Luamba. smiles between these two competitors. Yeah, nice shot right into the corner, ball dying just a little bit. And into a good position here. Take out the first game. off of his toes on the backhand side and just uh, flicking it off. Not sure what Miller was doing there, but that was really well disguised. And I've only played there the first game going to Lawamba Chalisi. And that is 11-4. So, so now ready for the second game of this last quarterfinal. And you can see there Zach Miller. In the lime green shirt, he had advice from Emma Miller, the woman's top seed. And she was doing a bit of finger pointing, saying, hit the ball to there. And now Lawamba Chalisi in the white shirt after taking the first 11 4. Just going through some of the other earlier results from today. Tim Wilder Chalisi defeated Sean Wigan in straight. And we had Abby Palmer in straight over the 15 year old Maiden League Cone. Ella Lash in four with uh, Winona Joe Joyce. In the middle in four, there was over Sophie Hodges and uh, Caitlin Watson straight over Grace Hines. Evan Williams, well, he won in straight games over the Australian player, Ben Radcliffe. A little bit of close contact here in this rally. Fast and furious again to start. That's better play, pushing it right to the back wall. As we get into this third first point, it's a bit luck, so get just as hard. <laughs> and a bit of a joke there. If you can hit it hard, I can hit it just as harder. And the two of them laughing about it. So now the two love lead for Chalisi. Better take it myself. Oh, I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. Trying to cut under it too much. Didn't work. And perhaps one of those shots where you got too much time. Of course. Lawan Bacilisi is the third ranked New Zealand male at the moment, ranked 145, that's just off his top. The recently 22 year old won his first challenger title and that was Morrinsville, where he defeated oh, his brother, Tim Warren in the final. Oh, nice. That boasts completely putting Zach Miller off his stride. Zach Miller, 26 year old, current ranking 222. Let's cross. Yeah, good play. That's pretty sharp on that backhand, keeping it nice and low. 
even if Miller had been able to get there, he would have had to really lift the ball. Just reminding people that the first semi-final was 5.30 this evening. Got 5.30, 6.15, 7. Thereabouts. Last match at 7.45. Good recovery. Oh, that's better. He's sticking around in this particular second game. There's no mucking around in between points. Yeah, that's a good play. Uh, coming off the wall, the angle too tough there for Zach Miller to get to. That's a better lead then for Luan Bicilisi with three points. And then let's see how Miller can attend now as Luan tries to move away. Oh, it's a good change of direction. running but not enough lifting the ball over the line and uh, now we've got the four point buffer for Luan Bacilisi got one back so cutting the lead to three what has been a frantic match. A yeah, nice change of direction. And uh, Miller was just trying to guess which way the ball was going to go for him. But backhand side in the end, too fast on the backhand. Like a blur. And this point just occurs. Oh, an amazing bus. <laughs> the angle on that shot. Yeah. Well done there to Zach Miller. Nearly impossible to read that one. This game fairly quickly. It's uh, that ball there was sitting there for Zach Miller to put away, but in the end, it's a game ball to Luamba. Uh, yeah, that's a better way to finish. Let it back into it. So 11 6. And two games to love. We're back in now for this, the third game between these two. It's been fast and furious. And the first 11 4 to the one but Chalisi, the second seed. And the second 11 6 with a little bit of a comeback there from Isaac Miller. And certainly some hard hitting shots there. A great drive down the forehand wall. So much power on that shot. The winner of this contest will take on Joel Ascot in the semi-final this evening the first semi-final well that is Emma Miller against Ella Lash that's at 5.30 this afternoon so be watching for that and the other semi-finals that we have uh, Abby Palmer against Caitlin Watts 
and also Evan Williams, the top seed, top 100 ranked player. He will take on Tima Chalisi, those two played a number of occasions over the last year or into this, this year. Uh, 2-1 now to Chalisi. back there showing it just hit the top of the of the tin. Yet some of these shots here, but uh, they're certainly both going for it. It's been the whole continuation of the entire match. Fast and furious, sometimes not quite as planned as you expect. That's a better point, though. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> you can see it in his face. It's like, ah, uh, well, he's been hitting it hard. I'll just try and hit it hard as well. We've had a few. Oh, trying for the acute angle. Didn't work. And, and this is one of the things that Luana Talisi needs to do in this match. Don't get into the, the same hitting habit as Zach Miller. Play your own game, although I guess his, his own game, Luana Talisi, is also to go for hard shots. He just takes his time. Takes the pace off like, a little bit more like that, and there we go. That's what we wanted. <laughs> so these guys still not mucking around in between points. Just quick get the ball up and serve again. so far and tries to take it on the full with that angle not able to and serve across from the backhand side for Luana Chalisi he's got the three point buffer a change of direction and trying to do too much again on that angle Zach Miller he's been caught out a couple of times oh what was that If you can read that shot, well done. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that is it in the end. Some unorthodox hitting from uh, Zach Miller. But in the end, straight games, 11-4, 11-6.
and 11-3 to Luamba Chalisi. He'll go through the semis. We, he will take on Joel Ascot.